Hi, David Hoyles, GH Hoyles, Long Sutton, farming around the wash. Behind me we've got the reservoir um, that we use for storing abstracted water. The drains around this area are mainly saline, we're a couple of metres below sea level and there's only certain times where the ditch water is good enough quality for us to abstract. So we put that water in the reservoir during the winter mainly and then we use it in the spring and summer when needed. As a, as a farmer run group, uh, we're always interested in our crop productivity. For where we are on the Siltland soils, not just for David, for, but for others in the area as well, um, water is a scarce resource and we have to make best use of it. A lot of our growers around here have um, brackish water in their drains. So the water is there, but sometimes it, its salt content is too high. So we were interested in using that water, but we weren't quite sure how far we could take the salinity. So we were looking for the tipping point to look at what water we could use and, and, and what, what level of salinity. And some growers will, you know, maybe on the back of this, will think harder about the water they've got in their drains. So is that suitable to do a job for them in the future? They will still have to put the infrastructure in then, of course, to take it from the drain to irrigate. For the purpose of the trial, we had to purchase IBC containers and the fittings to go into the, the banjo couplings. And basically the Honda pumps are pumping about 30 cube an hour. Um, just trials equipment really, but this was, this was what we needed just to facilitate the trial. So we've, got, we've had three pumps, three IBCs and three lots of pipe work, which have all coupled up into our pretty standard uh, valves and header main equipment. So downstream from the Honda pump, we come to our control valve. So you, you've got your pressure gauge there. The, the, always the pipe and the, 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 uh, the header main and the lay flat pipe are running around one bar pressure. Water comes through the pipe into the header main. Again, standard equipment. All of this from, from here, downstream from the pump, is all standard field equipment. So water into the header main through the plastic couplings and in, into the, connected onto the drip tape. This is a standard drip tape about 1.25 litres per metre an hour. Um, the pipe is then buried in the top of the potato row or the, or the onion row and then into the ground and you can just start to see this has now been running for about three hours and the water's, the water's uh, marking the ridge up and inside the ridge that will be making a lovely job of, uh, of penetrating the ridge and wetting up the crop. I'm Ian Gould, soil scientist at the University of Lincoln. At the trial site we have five treatments. Those are three different types of salinity, the first of which is from the irrigation reservoir and that's coming in at 950 ppm which is our unit we're using for salinity. Our next level of salinity is almost well, more than double that, it's 2000 ppm and we're going even higher at 4000 ppm. We have two further treatments, one of which is no irrigation and the other one is using overhead irrigation from the reservoir. The problem with salts or salinity in the soil is, is twofold really. The first issue is the chloride levels and that can really impact on the crop. So as part of this project, the agronomist is going to be measuring crop yields and looking at how the crops have been impacted on under our different salinity treatments. The second problem with salinity in soils is the impact of sodium on the soil itself. Sodium can be really damaging to soil structure and it can also have an impact on the soil biological community. So throughout the trial at different time periods we're measuring salinity in the topsoil but also in the subsoil. We're measuring it by looking at the, so the levels of sodium in those, in those areas. Um, we're also taking other soil measurements, soil structural properties like aggregate stability and, and we're also going to take some compaction readings at the end and that will give us an indication of if there's any physical damage to the soil and also we're measuring soil respiration which gives us an indication of the biological activity in the soil. My name's Tim Blythe, I'm a director at Soil Moisture Sense and for this project we've been using the Centec 60 centimetre drill and drop triscan probe for monitoring moisture, temperature and salinity. We have sensors at 10 centimetre increments all the way down the probe and it's installed vertically into the soil. The probe sits flush at the soil surface and when irrigation occurs we'll pick up the water infiltrating through the soil from the top to the bottom. With the salinity sensors 
in the probe, it will enable us to actually pick up the salt levels as they go increase or decrease through the profile. For David in the project, he's been using, day to day, been using the probes for scheduling purposes. So he has a repeatable point with a refill line, which enables him to dry the crop out and then wet the crop up. But hopefully with a mixture of temperature, moisture and salinity, all of those parameters will enable an informed decision to be made at the end of it as to whether the salinity had an impact on the growth of the crop.